Yeah, kia ora everybody and welcome to Tiana 2 South Park here for Wednesday Night Rugby League here in Auckland. Thank you for your company. Congratulations to Otahu who have won the first game of our double header in the Fox Memorial beating the Bay Roscoe Vikings by 44 points to 6. We now switch to the women's game. This is a round 10 match between Tani Faro from Huntley and Manurewa Marlins, the defending winners from last year. It's been a tough season for both these teams so far. Manurewa have won just the one game against Tani Faro. That was uh, the uh, back in round three. So this is the second clash between the two teams this season. So this is sixth versus seventh. But uh, Otara have been going particularly well. Howick, Mount Albert City uh, has been a very competitive season so far in what's been a uh, quite interesting women in league season. So let's see what happens here in this game tonight for Tani Faro and for Manurewa. Here is the Tani Faro team and it's pretty similar to recent weeks. Uh, players who have uh, featured a lot all through the season have been Diamond Henry who in fact has shifted out to the centres. She's been in 5-8 all season so first game in the centres. Uh, Kayara Berryman is another live wire player. She's in the hooking uh, number 9 jersey again. Jasmine Horaki is a uh, strong back rower and Manurewa Howell a very honest lock forward for Tani Faro as well. Now Manurewa, not quite at full strength today, but they do have a couple of uh, former Kiwi ferns in their team today. Rax Anderson and Amber Carney are both going to start from the interchange today, but uh, uh, Joseph is in there at centre. She's been playing in the in the uh, in the hooker's job, uh, so we'll see if she slots into that role again. McGee Reppi is more of a front rower and a back row forward, so uh, we'll see if uh, she plays the hooker uh, position, even though she's wearing the number nine. So Brent Newton's going to be the referee. Looking forward to the game. Charlotte Scannon, former Kiwi Ferns player. Definitely looking forward to this game. Uh, as you can see, it's quite chilly out there tonight, so hopefully they're playing a good, fast style of footy. Nato Kotoru Arukua is not playing tonight, which is a bit of a shame for Manurewa. She's been in good form the last three games, the former Broncos, Dragons and Knights player, Charlotte. So uh, hopefully we'll see her again shortly, but she's been, she's always a tough customer, but uh, I think Manurewa will miss her, her, obviously, tonight. Yeah, she she knows how to carry hard. She's very dominant through those middles. Uh, absolute asset with her footy knowledge as well. Uh, I definitely think they'll meet they'll miss her in the middles, but they've got some awesome talent throughout their team. Indeed. They've got Lysanne Tara, Rita Lee, Harrison Stevens, Mary Jane Finau again, all playing. Carly Takawa coming off the interchange as well. She's been a good player for Manurewa. And Tani Faro, well, they've had their moments in some games, but uh, still searching for that first win of the season, losing to Otahuhu in their last game by 20 points to 10. So each of these seven teams playing each other twice before we go into the semi-finals. As Brent Newton gets this round 10 clash underway, it's going to be Tani Faro to kick off first. And Manirewa are going to have the, the first possession to get this game underway. Manirewa through Forky. Forky wearing 13 tonight. No Crystal Stowers either. She's injured at the moment. He's a good run by Anderson, who's actually starting the game. She's lost it, though, and it's going to be ruled a loose carry. Jump, lady. Jump. Here we are, on the line. So, Tani Fano with an opportunity here. Co-coaches Utah Wilson, Patata Berryman, hoping that they can upset the grand final winners from 2022. Be a good one for them if they can do it. And I think a lot of these girls will be unknown to the Manurewa players, which sometimes can work as an advantage because they don't know who they should be marking up on. Yes, good young players coming through the Huntley region and Hamilton region, of course, as we see Tony Faro through Toka. Big chance for them to get cracking here is Berryman. Oh dear, that's a poor carry there, unfortunately. Berryman couldn't be kept, caught there by Henry and that's going to be an opportunity that's going to be slipping through the fingers literally there by Tony Faro. Yeah, not the way you would want to start. They obviously created an error at the very beginning but to not make it to second tackle, you want to make sure that you can hold off the ball. You want to make Manu Dewa tackle more. 
So Idaho Stowers feeds the scrum. Almost a loss forward there. In fact, it has been ruled a lost ball by Brent Newton. Must have just touched into a Tony Faro player there. So messy start from both teams here, Charlotte. It is. It's very dewy out there. That it is freezing. I would not be surprised if they can barely feel the ball on their fingertips. Uh, hopefully they warm up soon and they can cut down this error rate. Well, it's a, a repeat opportunity here for Tani Faro. See what they can cook up here. And taking it into contact is Leah Reese Torka. She's had some time at halfback. But Mainly used in the centres this season. Here comes Tia Torka. She's back slammed into the turf. Still 15 metres out. Well, they're lining up here, aren't they? It's Manurewa look to get him to make the tackle through Anderson. Here comes Howell. She had a very good season, Manurewa Howell. She's only 20. That's Berryman at dummy half. They came up very fast, the Marlins that time. Eli came up. That was uh, the little kick through. Looks a little strong off the boot there from Ruruku. And it's going to be a 20-meter restart for the Marlins. Calista Ruruku just overcooking that one. She's wearing the eight, but actually playing in f at 5 eighth in this game. It was good to see them be able to complete a set, even if the fifth tackle didn't quite go their way with that kick. But hopefully we see some pressure here on defence to be able to get up. See what Amber Carney can do. Manu they will have firepower all across their, their team. So Tani Fado are going to have to stay in this game, get up, work together, and shut down all those options. Interesting, Anderson and Carney both listed on the interchange, but both starting. Rusty Matua, and there's a good carry from Tara. Over the halfway line she goes. And it is Joseph who's dropped us uh, into dummy half. Out it comes to Karaka Whitaker, but she's thrown it a touch. It's good drifting defence by Tony Faro. Really good drifting defence from Tony Faro. I think their Manu, they were just overcooking their options there. There's no need to really be throwing that long ball uh, this early in the tackle count. Just playing a bit smarter, making sure they stay in, complete their set, possibly get a repeat set. Well, Tani Faro completed their last set. Let's see if they can do the same here. Just a good ball carrying. Up the middle comes Homaha. Tara, good tackle from her. Here is Homaha, rather. Well, Tara's looking to make a statement, isn't she? He's really getting in there. Making some big tackles. A little dart from dummy half by Kayara Berryman. Good work from her there, just identifying there was only one marker. Just turning around, hoping that that kick had a little bit more weight on it. Hapuku got it for Manurewa. Good encouragement from the sideline for both teams. Laid off load. And I think it's just dropped into Howell there. So it's going to be Tani Faro possession. It's just came forward off that Marlins player, Charlotte. Mm. I think both teams are being their own worst enemy here. Not, there's not too much pressure on defensively, just making some silly errors around the handling. So Berryman will feed the scrum again. Again, an ideal attacking opportunity here for Tony Faro. Here's Henry. See how and Omaha up on this right edge, but it's given to Honor Wilson, who's through here. Wilson. Lovely pass, and there's a try to Nico Rangi. And it's Tony Faro who strike first with a beautifully executed play. And no wonder they're smiling. Four points to nil. They'll be very happy with being able to cross over first. Uh, as you can see there, just slicing through the defence here, the outside pushing up just a little bit too high, uh, leaving a gap through that middle. 
good vision decision and nice and safe um, safe but also I love the awareness of that draw and pass yeah it was beautifully finished off by Reese Talker in fact by uh, Leah Reese Talker who's gone over to score the try so beautifully done by Honor Wilson having a third game in Talker who's featured in all the games he's got the try so four points to nil well it was an ideal attacking opportunity mm -hmm. and beautifully executed it I think Manudia would just need to make sure that they hold on to the ball. They don't try and push passes. They just play nice and simple. They haven't made it down into the 20 of Tani Furo yet, so they need to make sure they're playing footy at the right end of the field. It's waved away the conversion attempt. So four points to nil. The score will remain. Tani Furo on the board early. You hear there the call from Tani Fido, nothing fancy, finish the set. Really wise words, and it's something that gets said in every single game. Absolutely. Well, I've not just gone back through their scores this season, Charlotte. They have actually led twice at half time in their games, in two games rather, against Otahuhu and Otara as well, back in round five and six. So there has been signs from Tani Fido that they, are, they can be competitive. Of course, it's an 80-minute game. But they're off and running here against the, the Marlins. Off the now! Here, 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 here. It's funny what happens when you get to the end of your sets. Here comes a run from Trujan Clune. Berryman again. Pinching 10 metres. Good run by the young hooker. Oh, she's lost it. And that should be a loose carry. We thought she'd done well there, Berryman, to have a go in that block hole in behind the ruck, as I did hear the ref yell out, no marker. Sneaky little marker jumped in last minute, <laughs> which obviously, obviously the ref did not see. But I thought that was good awareness. Ball it, he's in, ball it. Ah! So here comes Tangaloa, at full back again tonight, fifth game of the season, she's lost it. And Amber Carney picks it up, but the error is made, and it's going to be a Tani Fado feed to the scrum. A great low tackle there from Tani Fado. Just again, Manurewa really need to just hold on to that ball. They're not completing sets. They're just really trying to create something out of nothing and there's no need when it's only been 10 minutes. Tani Faro with another scrum feed. Manurewa have been making a few errors, haven't they? Get it! Hands off! Oh, no one. They come again. They've got a good shape out onto the right-hand side here. And uh, Henry again. Well defended that time by Finau. A couple of other Manurewa players, including Miki Repia. Oh, she said hard. The tackling coming in from Joseph. And Finau once more. There's a good tackle coming in on Henry for Tani Faro. Good wrestling there by Tani Faro. They've got it again through Berryman. Out it comes to Wilson again. She created that first try on a Wilson. Looking for a gap there again. And she's had it smashed out of her hands. So it's going to be ruled a loose carry by referee Newton. I really like the way Tani Fido have attacked this game. Trying to move the bigger girls from Manurewa. Hitting outside the C defender. Making the markers have to chase. Not making it an easy game for them to just use their physicality and dominate. It's very smart. Anderson got plenty of ball there, didn't she? Knock it out of Wilson's hands. Here's Carney. Experienced player now, Amber Carney. Coming back is Kyla. Eli. And there's a penalty coming there for the Marlins. Not clearing the ruck fast enough. Oh, 
Well, Manu Rio have not been in Tani Farrow's half at all, have they, Charlotte? No, Tani Farrow are definitely dictating this game at the moment. On the line, on the line! Finau, there she goes, always a sight. And Mary Jane Finau winds up. Joseph into dummy half. Here comes Anderson. She's well looked after, the former Kiwi Ferns player. Was a warrior, Warriors player back in 2018 as well. Here's Finau again with her second big run of the set. I like this from Tani Fido. As you can see, they're chucking numbers into the tackle. Yeah, holding on a little bit too long, but the intent to slow the play down, not let these girls physically dominate them, not let them go get a roll on. I've actually really liked Crawford tonight. Not the biggest prop I've seen ever, but working extremely hard through those middles to try and contain Manu Dewa. Well, Mary Jane Finau always requires some containing. She's a big, strong, athletic ball running back rower. Show and go from Makaila Eli into the 20. She goes. Joseph playing hooker, wearing three. Is it to McGee Rippey, who's actually on this left edge, second rower. Inside the 10. Anderson. Here's a short ball. Nice ball to Tara. Very close to the line. There's Lizanne Tara. Good defence from Tani Faro that time. And it was the fullback Crosby you got in there. In the headgear. Good play from Anderson. There's Tangaloa. Out it comes to Carney, and that's good play. Oh, I think it wasn't scored though, and that's a try saving tackle on that left wing side. Oh no, he's going to award the try. So Manurewa are in. Well, my first initial. Gut feeling there that it wasn't scored, but it was a lovely move out to the right here, Charlotte. Let's see if we can pick up Karaka. Whitaker it is on that right-hand side, and I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that one. I don't think she actually got it down before she went out, but it looks like that leg kind of swiped out. Well, it's been given as a four-pointer. <laughs> Manurewa, fortunate to get that four-pointer. I think the go-forward came from that penalty. When Kayla Eli took it forward, they had a little dummy play there. Nice quick ball. They went down that same channel. Then they spread it wide from there. Just sucking all those defenders in. As you saw, the hooker went to go herself. There was about five people around that ball. There was always going to be space on the outside. So Ali is trying to... Convert the try. She's got a good connection, but not the direction. So for all, score will remain. And the diminutive winger, Karaka Whitaker. Getting the four-pointer. For yep. Manurewa. Tani Faro unlucky there. Because even though that was a fluent backline move, it looked like they'd done enough to stop the try. Yeah, I agree with you there. Uh, sometimes the calls don't go your way. They definitely still have been the more dominant team throughout this game so far. But Manurio are a team that can create something out of nothing. It's been a pretty even match, hasn't it, so far? Oh, that's been stone cold lost there. Wilson's got it. Tony Faro have got it again. Attacking opportunity for them inside the 20. Here's a Toka. Giving it to Tia Toka. Berryman again. Here's Howell. Gets those legs pumping. I've got to watch Howell. Howell. She's a good player. So inside the 10 they go. Berryman. Back it comes. For Henry. So that's the goal line right there. Here's Wilson standing wide of the ruck. She just lost her footing. That's unfortunate. All the momentum lost. And she might have landed awkwardly there, Charlotte. 
Yeah, I couldn't actually tell okay. if she was laughing or in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a bit of both, maybe a bit of me, time bit of a groin stretch. Oh, oh, nice play oh, here for Tony Faro. Howl again. Hey, now. Still tackles oh, up their sleeve. Now oh. it's the last play. Is Berryman. Here's a little kick through. It's been knocked forward, I reckon, yeah, nearby back, Stowers, back. but it's play on. And away comes Rippier. Another unlucky call there from oh, against Tani Furo. Absolutely. But good on Manu De for picking it up and just having a go anyway, playing to the ref because that's what the game's about. There's Joseph. And there's Laurelie Nathan. That's mum and daughter right there combining. Nicely done. Tangaloa at dummy half. And Tara gets those legs pumping again, but she's well tackled. Tani Faro's tackling has been good, although I might argue it was a bit too good there. The penalty coming. Tani Faro's players not clearing the ruck fast enough once again. A couple of big calls going the Marlins' way in this game so far. Keeping them in the hunt. Now it's Tangaloa found touch. He's found a really good touch finder there. On the line, on the line. Bit of a missed opportunity from Tani the Fado there to be able to actually get the ball back. <laughs> now here they're absolutely going to have to get off their goal line and make sure they rush these players because these players are strong, strong runners as you can see there and can get now. close to the line, if not over oh, in a couple of tackles. Oh, yeah, that was Amber Carney going close. Here's you Nathan. Go. She's going to have to take the tackle. Release. Joseph. This is Forky. It's good defence holding. Release. Up that time from Hal and Henry. Good. Anderson. Well, caught in possession. And in the end, it's going to be knock-ons both ways there. I think the first one came off Tony Faro there. Charlotte, what do you reckon? Let's have a look here. We can't see from that angle. Too many players obscuring the play. No, I do think that was Manu Dewa just knocking that on there. Yep. Just a great tackle from Tani Fro. It certainly was, wasn't it? Ruruku feeds the scrum. And there's a strip there. It's going to be a penalty. Time and Henry losing possession. Legally. Laurel Nathan. Hey, come on. There seemed to be two in the tackle there, Charlotte, wasn't there? Yeah, Kayla there was trying to appeal that uh, the second defender had actually released on the tackle. Oof. Wobbly old kick. <laughs> it was a wobbly old kick. But it's in touch. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> as long as it goes out, that's all that really matters. Definitely. <laughs> Good tackling from Manurewa, and this is going to be their ball. As we see, Benit McGee Repia. Give it to Mary Jane Fee now. Can be dangerous in those positions. You can see she gets to speed very quickly. For a big athletic player. Mickey Repia. Well wrapped up. It's been very, very good defence so far from Tani Faro. Here's Joseph. Tani Faro just starting to become one off in their tackle. With Manu Dewa kind of getting a bit of a roll on here. Speeding up the way that they're playing. On the ball. Strip right out. On the ball. Mary Jane Finau again. Tony Fido hey. need to make sure that they hey. stick to their structure the defensively, their policies of going in, tackling in numbers like they did in the first 20 minutes and not go off into one, one off tackles because players like Finau will just bust through. So, to Anderson running 5 8. Your experienced player as we see Joseph. Out it comes to Tara. Could she get it down? Tara. She's held up. Good defensive effort there. 
was that? Can't quite see what the referee did there, but this is Tara almost uh, scoring the try. Brilliant in the end not to get it down. Really. Thank you, miss. Oh, go. No touches. So let's see. Hands off now. Release Just me. keeping her hands on Thank the ball on. there. It was Layla Forky. Joseph. And it comes to Nathan. Carney's dropped it. Oh, unusual to see that from Amber Carney. I think just the, the indecision of Manu Rewa then, when they had already actually created the numbers to just draw and pass, it was kind of like they were waiting for each other to run a play. Uh, but they really just needed to go deep into the line, pass, draw and pass, draw and pass. Simple basics, fundamentals, it'll always win a game. One try each, Karaka Wiraka for Manurewa and uh, Leah Reese Toka for Tani Faro. Wilson feeding the scrum with Tani Faro. Now here comes Henry with his first run. Oh! Release 15 off the ball. Go one. Berryman back into Tami half. Make me, make me, make me. Just 18 years oh. old, Kyara Berryman. Oh, good defence that time from Manurewa. Four in the tackle. Keeping Howell quiet on that occasion. Crosby's up from fullback. She's in the headgear there. Morning, stand now. Take me, lady. Oh. Go for it's Crawford with that run. She's in a good game. You're right. She's carrying on nicely. And that's well read by Molly Tangaloa. The young fullback is an exciting prospect. Yeah, looks like she's just lost it there. So it's going to be more Tanifaro position. Really good run there. Just that ball control when she hits the ground. Is there a hand there? Oh, well, Tony Faro might have got away with one there. I think so. Well, you might want to say that even the ledger with a couple of other calls earlier on, Charlotte. Yeah. As long as they go both ways, it shouldn't affect that, the game too much. That's right. right that's right. Well, let's say Manurewa did get four points from one of those calls. Here's Leah Reese Talker again, the try scorer for Tani Faro. Hey, that was good quick ruck speed, yeah. wasn't it? And here comes Tani Faro with an opportunity through Diamond Henry. Davis, Davis, make me here. Makes all the difference if you can get to your feet and play the ball quickly. Nice inside ball. Tani Faro hot on attack here. Now Homaha in possession. Here's Howell. Howell. That's the try line right there. Desperate to get it down. Ripped out. And it's going to be a goal line dropout, did he say, Brent Newton? Mm. He's saying it got ripped out, so it's a goal line dropout. Well, he was right there. Good run by Howell. I think if she had just ripped down here a bit faster with it, she might have got that. Oh, she actually might have got that anyway before it got ripped out, but... These things happen so quickly. Well, referee Newton was right there. He was less than two metres from the, from the in a perfect unobstructed position. So, I mean, line drop out four points all. Fifteen minutes to play in this first half. You can really tell what Wilson and Berryman are trying to achieve with this team trying to get them to play up tempo not worry too much about size just get the fundamentals right they're playing fast footy they're getting off the ground quickly they're attacking with confidence you see here just going straight through the middle it's really good and on brand footy that we need to be doing here in New Zealand we need to be promoting this style of footy making sure our girls are becoming more athletic making sure our girls are understanding the game and the, the momentum shifts Really like to what like this game so far. Yeah, well said. 
Mary Jane Fino in a bit of trouble here. Line back on. And she is going to continue, it seems, which is uh, good for Manurewa. I'm going to lose her early in the game. Although she is getting some attention off the back of the, back of the dear ball line there. Good charge into the line here from Kopa Nico, who's out there now. Number 16, Wilson at dummy half. This is Trinity Crosby. Out it comes to Crawford again. Roy Mata Crawford. She's been in absolutely everything. She really has. She's got a very high work rate. Here's Howell again, who was just close to scoring before. She's going to drive again. And this time, did she get it down? She's held up. Well, great goal line D there from the Marlins. But Howell again, she's got their eyes on the prize. Great tackle there from Joseph. Very small in stature, but able to hold on to the ball, make sure it doesn't go down. Nico going close again. It's Totorewa out there now wearing 14 for Tanifaro. Another young player. She's just 20. Kick is well weighted. No, it's just too strong. That's hard luck and well judged by Tangaloa. I think the kick chase could have been a little bit better there as well. I think they were holding back a little bit to be a, a, a unified defensive line where the ball was going to go out anyway and he didn't really try and put it down. Nico risking another penalty there. Against Tani Faro, but play on is the call. Carney in at dummy half here for the Marlins. Just takes a run. Grabs 10 metres. Joseph. And now it's Takawa. He's out there now, Carly Takawa. Here comes Carly Takawa now, number 16. Sixth game of the season for her. Joseph in that dummy half. He goes to kick. It's good tactic. Puts pressure on Crosby, who's under it nicely. Good chase there from Ellie. Tanifaro, though, have got to get to their kick now. Tia Toka. Oh, not many gaps up the middle, is there? But Tanifaro won't want to chance their arm too much as Toka plays the ball. That's a good tackle coming in from Harrison Stevens. We're in 10 there for the Marlins. And they got to their kick, so well done by Tani Faro. They didn't get too wound up or upset. Now, that's still the last play. Last. Should be a last. handover, shouldn't it? Last, yeah. yeah, it wasn't touched. No Not well, it's still play on. Here is Nathan, I think that is, or is that Hapuku who's got the ball for Marlin? So I'm a bit confused there, but Marlins have got the ball. I think we're all a bit confused on what was happening just then. He said it wasn't played at, but then it was also not the last. Yeah. Here's Ellie. Anyway, 11 minutes to play. In this first half, Anderson. Get some space out here on this left-hand side. Finau's gone off now with that injury. I think Tani Fado look like they're starting to tire a little bit here. They need to make sure that they stay nice and tight defensively and they work together. That's a good run by Morris. Nice and strong and physical run. In back in good defence is Tia Toka. Left winger for Tani Fado. Period of play here. Long play, period of play with no stoppages. Here's Trinity Crosby again. 
Right on the wing last week. This is her fifth appearance at fullback this season. Here's Henry. Looked after by the defence that time. Stow was in there making a tackle for Manurewa. Tuturewa at dummy half. This is Wilson with the kick. She's playing well on a, on a Wilson, isn't she? She really is. Looks like she's got good IQ. That's gone back, says the referee Tangaloa, who almost gets dragged into touch as well. Kami looking for a little bit more real estate. Now Karaka Wiraka. Try scorer for Manurewa. Comfortably sealed off by Crawford. She's putting in a good stunt. She's been out there from the start, the front rower. Mm. 30 minutes. Very hard yakka. Get square, Marcus. Hold, hold, go to. It's ideal if you can have a prop that works for that long because it means that you, your other prop can be more of a ball runner, a bit, a bit bigger, a bit stronger, about to, but might fatigue a little bit faster. And you can use that sub on them if you can have a prop that will stay out there it's for like 40. The, it's like the pain ass factor, isn't it? It is. When you play 60, 70 minutes a game, it just opens up so much more opportunities. Here goes the kick from Anderson. And to your talker, good footwork. Anderson making the tackle on the halfway line. And now Crosby. It's a long period of play with no stoppage here. Tackled by Ikatule for Manurewa. The, another player who's off the interchange, and that's still play on. It's Howell again. She's only 20. Manirewa Hal, and she's certainly showing out as one of the best players again for Tani Faro. That's Henry now with the ball. Mm, she has been outstanding with her runs and her defence. And here's Crawford winding up now. Great front row run there. Just tucking it under, having a go. It's just going for it. Tuturewa. Now it comes to Ruruku. Now that's Wilson standing wide of the ruck. Well, the pass hasn't found the mark, so a lot of momentum lost there for Tani Faro. So Tia Toka has to tidy up. The Aris Toka. And now here comes Hodaki. Hasn't seen too much ball in the gut first half. Jasmine Hodaki. 18 years of age, and she's lost the ball and not played that correctly. Massive defensive effort there from Manurio and Marlins to not let the flow of Tani Furo get on top of them. They've just kept their composure, come up together, solved problems. Tani Furo set on a really good spot, but I just think their option to go that the long shift wasn't quite quite right. The Manurio and Marlins were already set out there. They needed to come through that front door where they're starting to see a bit of joy. Let's go, ladies. Find up. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Nathan feeds the scrum. Joseph comes off the back. 19. Stand now. Make the line. Hold. Go one. Whoops. Oh, gee, that was untidy by the Marlins. Now, big chance for Tani Faro to take the lead with six to play in the first half. And that comes off the back of making Manurewa tackle so much, Make them, making them work so hard that when it comes to attack, you're just a little bit fatigued. Well, I reckon Manurewa held. They just give it to her. She's been held up over the line twice. Mm. Come on, ladies. Just find up, Surely third time lucky. She's going to get it over and bang it down for a four-pointer. She's going to pass the ball this time to Wilson. Oh, here is Torka, powered over for that first try. And she's getting close there. She's a powerful ball runner. They're lining up here. It's Hodaki's tackled. She's held the ball this time securely. Totorewa, here's Hal, trying to barge over again. <laughs> They're well aware of her threat now. Ah, the Marlins. 
Ruriku. Oh, gee, the pass didn't find the hands from Omaha. So again, the momentum loss, just not executing quite well enough. Let's see if that can change right here. It's a great drive for the line by Crawford. Offside, lady. This offside play as Crawford goes down to score the try. In fact, it was Omaha. Again, I think Tani Vero were just a little bit unlucky there with the whistle blowing um, early. Yeah, just before. Oh, hands off. She dotted it down. Dot it down, <laughs> yeah. Totorewa. Oh, it's been touched by Manurewa, so it's going to be another play for Tani Faro. They're not getting too rattled on the positive side, are they, mm. Tani Faro? Their, their players are just quietly composed still, still believing that they will get over eventually. Yeah, they need to start capitalising on this possession, though. We know how easy it is for Manurewa to create an uh, error and then get the ball back and then just work straight down to the other end of the field. Here's how. A little uncertain as to what to do, so she just ends up taking the tackle, but she's very strong. Here's Crawford. Taken by her opposite number, Harrison Stevens. Totorewa. That's Wilson. Now to Lieres Toka. Can she draw the winger free? There's your answer. Tia Toka over to score the try. That looked pretty good from Tani Faro, and there is the four pointer. And they deserve that. Yeah. Way to create pressure, way to build momentum there. Not rushing anything. And trusting in their skill set to do a long shift that early on in the set. Great in and out there. And a draw and pass. Great winger try. Caught one to the face too by the looks of things. Yeah, she did. But great work from Leah Reese Torka to score the first try and now create the second. So eight points to four now. Tani Faro in front. And uh, eventually you'd think they'd have to score. They've got multiple chances mm. down that uh, end there. We've seen it all season with Manurewa, though. We know that when they are try they're, they've been scored on, that somehow they get a try under their belt just before halftime. And if Tani Furo want to stay in this game, they need to make sure that doesn't happen. Exactly. They just need to get to their kick, really, once play restarts. Mm -hmm. But uh, with only a couple of minutes to play, here a free football should get them time break with the lead got a tempo well short in the end so eight points to four score remains two excellent tries for Tani Faro in this first half think about back in round three when these two teams met. Manorewa were won 26 points to six. Different game tonight though. She's been very good in the first half. Leary's talker always asking questions of the defense. Yeah very powerful runner. Here's the try score a moment ago. Tia Torka. Hit hard by Anderson. He's very strong defensively. Former Kiwi Ferns player. Here's Howell again, who's been a real standout up the middle. Arguably the, the best middle forward in the game so far. Tremendous work rate as well. Crawford is right there in that category too. Not used that time. Hands off. Well, we see get to their kick, Charlotte. They might fancy themselves scoring another <laughs> try here with 30 seconds to play as Crawford throws herself into the line again. And there we've got to be careful not to clock off here. Here goes the kick from Ruruku. Not directed well at all, unfortunately. 
to really, to really unleash Leah Reese Toka on that edge. I think they've done enough to see them in the half, though. Uh, I've, just the way that they're playing this game, with such speed, such intent. Like I said at the beginning, it's the unknown that actually works for some teams. It's not knowing who the opposition is. It's the opposition not knowing how dangerous they are. Here's Carney off that left foot again, and that will be it for half time here in this round 10 women's premiership match here at Tiara 2 South Park. It's been another keen contest here on Wednesday night footy. Tani Faro leading by eight points to four. Welcome to Dayton Projects, where we make your interior fit-outs easy. From start to finish, we bring a wealth of experience to every project, and we love what we do, so please come and meet the team. Hi, we're the project management team. Our responsibility is to ensure a smooth running project from start to finish by having a clear understanding of our clients' expectations. We aim to do this by delivering a stress-free quality fit-out on time. I'm saying I'm a quantity surveyor here. My role is to understand your needs and tailor my pricing to suit your budget. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the detailers here at Datum Projects. My role is to take the client's architectural drawings and convert them into shop drawings for our factory. Hi, my name's T. I'm the Health and Safety Manager for Datum Projects, and one of our core principles here is work safe to get you home safe. Well, we're here at Tiara 2 South Park. Thank you for joining us. We'll be here next week too, by the way, for next Wednesday's uh, action as well. And uh, looking forward to seeing what next week brings, but also the second half of this game here between Tani Faro and Manurewa in the women's match tonight. Two tries to one. Here's the first try. Came early, and it was beautifully done by Honor Wilson, freeing up Leah Reese Torka for the first try. Yeah, great eyes up footy there from her. Good draw and pass. Can't go wrong. It was off the back of a lot of errors from both teams, so it was good to see someone cross over. And Manurewa struck back shortly after. Kani looking to set the winger up, Karaka Whitaker, and that's been ruled a try by the referee, Brent Newton. Uh, so Manurewa getting on the scoreboard. Through Karaka Williams, uh, Whitaker rather, who went over to score her second try of the season. And then Tani Faro, after uh, a lot of back to back errors from Manurewa, finally through Leah Reese Toka, who set up that try for Tia Toka. So great work by Leah Reese Toka to score one and then set one up. 
She's a very strong runner in the centres. Looks like she might have poked a, got a copper poke in the eye there too. So eight points to four in the first half. Possession dead even. Completion rate very low there for Manu Reba. They're going to have to lift that one, aren't they, Charlotte? That's a, a stat if they want to really desperately improve. Yeah, and it'll be wearing them thin as well. They will be defensively quite tired from their completion rate, not getting the opportunity to attack. But to be able to cross over already once with a completion rate of 40, if they can get that up, they can definitely come back into this game. Right. Well, based on Auckland's North Shore, North Coast is a proud... In fact, we're not far away from starting the uh, second half, actually. That's what we like, Dan. We like a quick half time, don't we, mate? Just talking to Dan, the director. <laughs> well, the teams are uh, ready to go, but we're waiting for a referee, Brent Newton. In fact, they will take the full. Brent Newton says we are going to have a longer half time, so... We will throw to our little piece here on the Northcote Tigers again for you. Based on Auckland's North Shore, Northcote's a proud club with strong family ties. The generational involvement at the club creates a tightly connected community and support network, allowing the club to continue to thrive year after year. Something that our club's been run off as families all the way through. Family ties that we have at this committee, and we're still sort of going through, and we're probably waiting for the sixth and seventh generation to come through. I started here in uh, 2011 where I coached the 13s and took them up to under 15s. I came back in 2017 and finished playing in 2021. So my son Aiden and my daughter Lily, they also play for this club. They are four generations deep on both sides, which is the Cook Pano and the Phillips Pano. That's just sort of something that our club's been run off as families all the way through. Strong family ties that we have at this committee and we're still sort of going through and we're probably waiting for the sixth and seventh generation to come through. Hi, my name's Bobby Rudolph. I'm a past chairman of the club. I first got involved actively at Tigers probably in the 1980s when my son started as a schoolboy. Now I'm a grandmother just watching on the sidelines. It's great to see the current committee with so many of our families with a lot of long history with the club, their sons and daughters currently being involved in our committee. Oh, kia ora. Uh, my name's David Barner. I've been at this club for 25 years. My father played here, my grandfather and all my uncles played here, and now I've got lots of nieces and nephews coming up through the ranks, so uh, this club's my kafano and um, yeah, proud to be part of it. Hi, my name's Keanu Kinney. Just here at my junior club, North Coast Tigers. Come over here for a couple of days. I presented uh, my jersey to the club, which is really cool to see all the kids down here. Hopefully you can see them one day and grow up, play for the NRL one day or even the Titans. My junior started here when I was four years old. My mum and dad were the coach and manager. I love this club. There's so many good people at this club. They've all helped me along my journey. They've done a lot for me. Uh, I love being here at my, my old club, North Coast Tigers. Kia ora, my name's uh, Houston Holloway. I'm the captain of the North Coast Tigers. This is the club I've been at since I was five years old. This is a very family oriented club. All my best mates, parents have all played for the club. We're sort of keeping the tradition going. And hopefully uh, our kids and their kids can come through and do the same thing. Good to see David Barner and the North Coast Tigers there, eh? They won the Shaman Cup last year, beating Pakuranga in the final, 32 to 28. I remember doing that game it was at Mount Smart. Beautiful sunny day, great day, great day of rugby league. Charlotte Scan Scanlon that day, a really good game in the Shaman Cup Grand Final, and then a fantastic Fox Memorial Final to follow that between Point Chev and Glenora. And if we can repeat that this season, happy days, <laughs> happy, happy days. days. And yeah, look. Uh, 
The weather's absolutely tremendous here at Teatro Two South right now. It's a glorious, warm evening <laughs> with no rain or wind. <laughs> And no one's rugged up. No, it's the complete opposite to that, of course. And that rain is getting quite uh, heavyish for the second half. Marlins here trailing by four. Still well in the game despite their poor completion rate. But uh, I guess the interest from Tani Faro's uh, perspective here, Charlotte, they've led twice at halftime in two of their previous games. They've uh, gone on to lose all their games. But now's another chance for them to get over the line here and if they can go on with it in the second half here it'll be a big boost for them yeah we heard one of their players say uh, just complete play simple and I think that's something that if they can do that in the second half they'll come away with the win so second half is underway and uh, Tani Faro leading by 8 points to 4 tries to Leah Reese Torka and Tia Torka and uh, the try scorer for Manu Rewa is their winger who went over not long after the first half or after the first tribe scored that was Katarina Karakawitaka on that right wing side now here's Crawford who's still out there she's going to play the full 80 that'd be crazy how she has got a big engine on her she'll love being right in the middle with that mud right there it's not somewhere I would have stepped back <laughs> into that's for sure <laughs> Totorewa waits that dummy half for Tani Faro. Good hands from Wilson. Here goes her kick. And that's not a bad effort finding the touchline on that far side of the field <laughs> in front of Alexis Hapuku. Puppy made a good catch there. That's right. It'll be interesting to see if Marurewa can get to the kick here again in there well into their own territory here is Kali Takawa Joseph again at dummy half back on the inside that's a good ball it's not much space there for Ellie good run from Anderson nice and direct great effort there from Crawford wasn't quite square at Marco. Rushed back into the line to then make the next tackle. So this is Louise Morris. Here's the kick. Ooh, as Crosby's got it. And it is. Going to be Tani Faro with the ball. Trinity Crosby's been safe and secure at the back so far. Ball release, please. Thank you. He's been, con he's been told that, in fact, Nico Rangi scored that first try for or the second try, rather, for Tani Faro. She's wearing the five. The wingers have had different jerseys numbers on, so let's get that confirmed. Nico Rangi, it is, scoring that second try. Now, here's Howell again. They go a little high on her. They did. It seems like Tani Fair have come out and actually changed their game plan. They're hitting a lot more around the ruck um, and then behind the ruck rather than using the ball, spreading it a little bit wider. I wonder if that was something that came from the coaches or if it's a little bit of fatigue that's coming. Ruduku is a not found touch. That's brilliantly done. Keep it in the field of play. Talked about that at the first oh, half. The most important thing about a penalty is kickers to actually get it out. Puku did brilliantly to keep it in the field of play. Here's Anderson winding back the clock a bit, showing a bit of form there. She went to the 2017 World Cup for the Kiwi Ferns, and now here comes another run this time from Ikatule. Off the interchange today, she's played on the wing and in the centres for the Marlins this season. Harrison Stevens. Was that Tara getting that late offload? It was. Out it comes to Carney. Oh, she's tackled brilliantly by Crosby. Little show and go there from Joseph. Oh, Tani Faro can hold on here. Great effort. Nathan. And it comes to Anderson, looking for space. Carney, good hands. And it's still there. 
It's going to be a line dropout. Well, in the end, Crawford went back and did the business for Tani Faro. Good set there from the Manurewa Marlins. Keep the ball alive, put a kick in, create a repeat set. Definitely a better start than the first half. Yeah, Carney made something out of nothing there, didn't she? Mm -hmm. When you're ready, kick out. Oh. So Kalista oh. Ruruku. The restart. It's not a bad kick, is it? It's back to the 40. Picked up by Kaylin Ikatule. Check, ding, ding. Make the line. Oh, give space. Oh, go one. Nathan gives it to Harrison Stevens, who's just dropped it stone cold right there. That's disappointing yeah. from here. All the pressure comes off. Tani Faro there. Yeah, not what you want when you've just done all that hard work to create a repeat set to just give the ball straight back. Not when Tani Faro have been so dominant. Crosby. Totorewa. Crawford again, Ruimata Crawford, what an engine she has on her too. She and Howell have been fantastic in this game. She's going to run and run hard all day, all night. Jamie Homaha. Almost a giant catastrophe right there. In the end, the kick ended up being pretty decent. As Karaka Whitaker goes back. Oh, she put her foot on the line there. Play the ball! Play the ball! Get her up now! Oh, yes, go very one. close not to conceding a line dropout. That's a good run from Ellie. Again, she's done brilliantly stay in the field of play there. Hold. Hold. Go to. Carney. Yeah, he's off the field. Kieran, Tough meters for Thank Manurewa. You really want your markers working hard here. Really putting pressure on that inside. They're making the tackle, chippling up there on her tackle count. Oh! Giving everyone Kieran else a bit now. of a rest. Go for. I see Katule playing that one. Kick from Anderson. Crosby coming forward, taking it nicely. Great nice play from her. Great play. Now restarting their set just up on the 50. That's exactly what you want. Henry oh! driven back strongly. <coughs> and it's spill free. On the ball. Hard luck on the there ball. for Manurewa. The did everything right there. It looked on first glance anyway. Marlins look a little unlucky there. Yeah, it's always really tricky when it comes to having three in contact like that. You're never really going to get the get the call. Three, hands up. Crawford with that carry. Totorewa. Nice hands coming in from Ruruku, who takes the line on. Driving down to the 10-meter line. Good run by the 5 8 Big chance here for Tani Faro. This is Homaha. Line speed from Manure was a little slow that time. Homaha almost caught them napping. Howl. Remember, she was close to scoring on two occasions in that first half. Little dive, and there's a try. Tani Faro get their third try. And over goes Namako Totorewa. It is 12 points to four. For me, that came off the back of the defensive effort of someone like Wilson, who tripled up on her tackle count when they kicked it into the corner. Uh, just beautiful effort to be then get the kick received on the 50 metre. Easy money, creating penalties, all running with intent, playing fast. Great try. Yeah, good score there for the visitors. And they are starting to look fairly good now. She's got her first try of the season right there. 20-year-old. Yeah. Okay. 
potentially played in, uh, according to my notes here, played Tasha Gale Cup, the Bulldogs, back two years ago. So, uh, pretty good uh, league IQ in her. And let's see now if this can be converted by Ruruku, and it can. She's been their main goal kicker all season. So Ruruku goals, 14 points to four. It's a 10-point game now to Tani Faro. And interesting to see if Amanureba can find a way back into this game now with the scoreboard pressure firmly on them. They've definitely looked the most composed, the most confident in all their actions that they're doing on defence and in attack. Manuru are just struggling at the moment to hold on to that ball. Just to play together as a unit, as a team. Well, there's still plenty of time on the positive sign of for Manurewa. There is still plenty of time in this game, just under 30 minutes. Off the ball, Tony Faro yeah, after yeah. starting with uh, a try in the first half have gone on with it nicely. Here's Crawford again. 10 out of 10 performance from her so far. She has been absolutely outstanding. Good attacking this time from the Marlins. Nikki Repia, good tackle from her. Here's Howell again. Just when you need a good carry, tough carry, she's giving she's it there. every time. She and Crawford. Here's a good charge into the line this time from Clune. She said, ah. It's just, as you can see there, that intent of a little bit of handling there, but the intent to play fast is there. That's what I'm loving. They're wanting to play up-tempo, and it's really catching Manurewa out. Unfortunate there with the error, but these middle forwards are really creating that platform for the likes of Wilson to jump out and attack. Well, Tara enjoyed herself there with that tackle, didn't she? Stand up, lady. Hook her over the top, please. Thank you. Head down! Head down, Fallen. Good attacking opportunity for the Marlins. They are midfield. See Ellie in more space. The athletic player as well, Charlotte. Yeah, I think sometimes that uh, she's not really being helped when, with her runs. It's kind of, here you go, here's the ball, go create something. Where exactly. I think she's someone that could really open up a game if she had someone kind of ball playing to her. Good run from Tangaloa. Nicely into the line that time. Joseph gives it to Anderson. Again, well looked oh, after. Stow was that time caught in possession. Anderson again. Good little run here from oh, McGee Repia. This is better. Good ruck speed here from the Marlins. Go. Got a good roll on here. Here's Ellie again. Anderson. Has she waited that one? Well, she has. And it's scrambled clear for a line dropout. Good work from Anderson. You could see the change of pace that she brought onto that ball. It kind of looked like nothing was really going on. No one really knew what they were doing. She changed the pace, put a great kick through. Well, it's a good comeback, a good response here from Anarewa. Rather, Charlotte, 14 4 down. Like Tani Faro had the momentum. And they were needed to start, you know, playing with more intent. Mm -hmm. And they did on that set. Let's see if that continues here. Their line speed looks a little bit laboured. They need to be careful here. Kaylin Kutule being allowed to run. Two! Stand now! Hold. Dummy half! Stay out of it! Go one. That's good. Uh, good tackling. A tackle wasted there. Hands off now! Excellent work from Tia Toka. To drive back Harpuku and there's going to be a, a penalty against Harpuku. 
Number five, no need for it. Ball is clear. Holding the player. Bit of frustration, I think, from Alexis Hapuku yeah, there. Name me here, Ewa. Wait for the tap, lady. Oh, come up, come up, come up. Yes! Go. No tapping. That's good. So Tani Fado with that penalty. Out comes Jamie Homaha. Go one. Here's Howell again. Good leg drive. Good post contact meters. Back in the mud bar. She has shown out in all the games. Tani Faro have played on TV this year. Good young prospect, only 20 years of age too. And now this is Kanani Berryman, another teenager who's coming through the ranks. Just keeping hold of the ball there. That was tight, to say the least. Clune play dummy half, Wilson. Good hands from Ruruku. Now Crosby's up and from fullback here as we see Diamond Henry taking the line on. Good tackling by the Marlins though. And Tani Fado just trying to appeal for a head high there, but this is rugby league. <laughs> it is indeed. Now that was a great catch from Karaka Whitaker. Ten metres out, so boy they love an era now as Tangaloa. And referee didn't like that initial contact. It was a high-ish. So the penalty is coming Manurewa's way. Yeah. Yeah, penalty conceded by Leah Reese Torka. Just sliding up ever so slightly. Yeah, not too much in that one, was no. there? Eight points to four it was to Tani Faro at half time. Just the one try converted. Scored by Totorewa. The interchange dummy half. Cramp here for Tangaloa after the uh, high shot, perhaps. I must say I agree with the referee here with wanting to play on. You don't want these girls standing out in the cold. Getting cold, you're more likely to get injured that way if they all cool down waiting for just cramp. Yeah, 100%. Okay. So look Coming up towards the halfway line. Joseph. Not much happening there for Forky. To chatter on the sideline as Nathan gets the ball. Good charge back on the inside there from Tara. Anderson. Oh, that was telegraphed a bit, but Ali got out of the tackle. No space there for Morris. In fact, that is Carly Takawa who's got the ball. Go for. Joseph. Keep going. Anderson again. This is Ali. Oh, was that touched by Tani Faro? All sorts of knock-ons there. I think it might have been touched by... Manu, you were there, I think. first, yeah. yes. I think Manu Dewa, they were just a little bit unlucky in the way that they didn't identify they had numbers. Tani Fudo had to shoot out of the line. They had to solve that and force them inside. If, they had, if Manu Dewa had just caught and passed, they definitely had the space on the outside. You can hear a few of the girls out there saying how cold it is, wanting to play fast. <laughs> We're all rugged up today, or tonight. Well, I don't know about that net service app. It says it's 11 degrees out there. I'm not convinced it's that warm. I'm not convinced at all. It's a good angled run coming in from Leah Restorka. Release, hey! 
Crosby is into dummy half. Horaki. Then hard by Josie Joseph. So Manudu have lost uh, Mary Jane Fino in the first half. She hasn't come back, Charlotte, which is a big loss. She is a big loss. Very safe defensively out on that edge as well as such a strong runner. So Horaki down here. I might have caught one in the back here. Number 17, Kanani Berryman. Third time lucky, Charlotte. So Berryman it is. She's going to be okay, though. Tackle three. Kayara Berryman waits at dummy half now. Nice edge run coming from Homaha. Looking for that offload, too. Good play from her. Berryman. This is Diamond Henry. Good run from here. Berryman waits at dummy half. It's the last play. Ruriku goes high. This will be a good tester. Oh, hard luck there. And it's gathered by Harpuku. Good footwork from here. Oh, good kick there. Really tested. The Manurewa defence. And uh, with an ounce of luck, Charlotte, they might have been over for another try. Yeah, it was still definitely a really good set there from Tani Furo. Good kick chase, good pressure. Like I said, if they can get their line speed up, if their markers can double up on tackles, they'll be able to start again on the 50 or the 60. Anderson plays the ball. It's Joseph. And Bacani next up. Nice movement! Joseph delayed the pass beautifully. Here's a good run coming from Forky. Michaela Ellie with the kick. And Wilson. Wants to sit and duck there. I thought it was a good, good set there, but the kick just didn't have the depth that I think it needed. Hands off, please! Berryman. Oh, penalty though. Joseph was just a little keen out of dummy half there. And this is where Manurewa, just in the second half, maybe in particular Charlotte, have just let themselves down. They get into field position, but they concede the penalty. Yeah, I agree. And the, and the fifth tackle options just aren't really where they need to be to get themselves back into this game. On the line, here, here, here. Oh, away goes Leah Reese Talker. She and Crawford. Howell have been fantastic. All game for them. Howell and, uh, and Crawford are just off at the moment. We will know Howell's still there. Can see her there. And that's going to be a penalty. Uh, be against Layla Forky. Still on the ball. Yeah, I've told her to move. Go. Yeah. Oh. Forky just went on with it a bit too much there, maybe, mm. Charlotte. Yeah. Especially after that Howard call was hey, made, hey, just hey, needed hey, to hey, let hey, go. Hey, Even if Tani Furo wanted to move forward, he, she would have been told to move backwards. Um, just let the ref dictate that ruck area. Back into it again. I think Tani Fro have the opportunity to score here. Oh, Henry getting wound up there as we see Honor Wilson looking to create some space up the middle again. Oh, Henry, you don't often see that in a women's game. Just trying to sort out an issue there <laughs> with her opponent. Here comes Howell, nice and flat onto the ball again. Joseph's in there to make the tackle. 
Tara Berryman. Guruku taken in the tackle this time. All oh, this space there for Berryman. Oh, she's heavily weighted that one. Too strong off the boot, that one. Back to the 20 for a seven tackle set. Yeah, not how you wanted to finish that set. It's a bit of a let off there for um, Tani Faro giving Manurewa a seven tackle set. Disappointing because everything up to that point, Charlotte, was great. It was. It really was one of their better sets of the game. 19, 10, 0. Go, 0. Carney. 16 minutes to play, still a 10 point margin earlier tonight well done to all Tahuhu Leopards in the men's game beating the Bay Roscoe Vikings by 44 points to 6 oh there's a big chance there by Manurewa and right there Rita Lee Harrison Stevens drops the ball again they had a good bust on there Charlotte Faro are going to get more possession. Right on the halfway line. Yes, and the last time they started a set on halfway, they managed to cross over. See if they can do it again. Ruruku. Henry's just dropped the ball there. Tough pass for her to catch, though. Come here, Henry. Come here, on the line. I can Come see here, what ladies. Callista Ruruku was trying to do there. But I don't think Henry was expecting it. No, it looked like she kind of snapped at the ball there, uh, whether it was the pass itself or just not being ready for it. They wouldn't getting up two now. She's coming from the south. Hold the ball. And, uh, it is a good run from Takawa. This is we were just playing into the slight southerly breeze. A particularly cold one, though. And good hands this time from Harrison Stevens. Struggled with their handling a couple of times in this game. Charging in his four key again. Good brave tackle though by Tani Faro. By Reece, Aaliyah Reese Torki. Here comes Harrison Stevens again. Now Manurewa starting to flex their muscles, getting into a try scoring opportunity. And uh, they really need a try. If they want to come back and win this game, and they need it now, as Anderson gives it to Ali. And running wide as Tara. 19 and 12, both offside. A couple of offside players here from Tani Faro, so fresh set here for the Marlins. And you can see the excitement in their body language. You can see that they're ready to score. You just need to make sure they hold on to it. Anderson. Joseph gives a short ball this time to Harrison Stevens. Hear them yelling, get off your line. Short ball this time to Forky. She's short. Great try saving tackle coming in there from Clune and a couple of others as well. It's Joseph. Here's Anderson for the line. Is she held up? I think she's got it down. Yeah, Raquel Anderson goes over to score the try. Rax Anderson is there. And Manure would get that four-pointer. And the Kiwi Ferns International from a few years ago gets over for a valuable four points. Yeah, we see there just the marker biting in on the on the hooker just a little bit too early. Wasn't able to get the, um, the push on from the inside. See there, just a little bit too tight defensively. But we can't be holding back on that line. We can't be not getting up. They were just waiting on that goal line. Someone like Rex with the footwork, with the determination, is going to cross over. Well, there's Leah Fo Leila Folky, rather, who almost went over, scored a moment ago. But Rex Anderson, three tests for the Kiwi Ferns in her career. Back in 2017, last test in 2019. Tough conversion attempt here. Coming up for it. Kyla Alley. 
And that is away. So 14 points to eight. The score remains. Plenty of chatter from the Manorova team out there right now. Urging for one final push in these last 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Charlotte. I think we're set for a grandstand. I've got a feeling we're going to be set for a grandstand finish here. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of time on the clock to be able to cross over for both teams. It's going to be who wants it the most and who's going to dominate, who's going to lift their game up a little bit more. Big shout out to Rex there on that play. She ended, she took the first and she ended it. Yeah, she's had a good, strong game. She has had a good, strong game. Turn your That's what you want from your 5-8 in there. Tough runner. Ruriku restarts play. All the way down to Bini McGee Repia. Well, simple game plans from both teams now. Tani Faro need to continue with their good tackling game. Defensively, they've only conceded two tries in the game. Ali. Boom now! Go worker! To Kawa with that play, the ball. Here's Anderson, the try scorer. Comes to McGee Ripia again. And the tackling from Tony Faro has been good. Momentum just uh, losing or being lost there for Manurewa and lost by Anderson. Great defensive set from Tony Faro and off goes Omaha. They just need to complete this. Yeah, I know it sounds simple. It's a, it can sound boring, but it's what's going to help win this game. They need to complete the set, run that clock down, and possibly cross over again if they can. Well, this is it for Manurewa as well, isn't it? From the other side. Mm -hmm. Now, they need to defensively to be strong as Hal takes a carry. Berryman. Here's Crosby. Flicking it back to Henry. Marion Lee Henry. Almost losing the ball, but she's still got it. Berryman again. Here's Wilson. Bloom back on the inside to honour Wilson. Out it comes to Leah Reese Talker. She could barge over here. And she's there. Leah Reese Talker. A big score right there for Tani Faro. And that could be the game and their first win of the season. Well, terrific stuff. He had her winger on her outside, didn't need her, trusted herself. I'd love to see the confidence in these young players coming through to be able to do something like that, to really back themselves that close to the line and score. Well, that's two 20-year-olds nailing that play. On a Wilson out to Leah Reese talker second try of the game as well. Well, great credit. It's, hard. It, it's easy to drop your head when you've lost seven straight. Right, Charlotte? Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, only there's only one way to the top, and it's hard yards. And good on Tani Faro here to looking like they're going to seal their first win of the season. Yeah, and it's playing like a team. This team has got firepower across the board, defensively and in attack. Berryman, Wilson, Howell, they've all been absolutely outstanding. Uh, we've talked multi multiple times about Crawford and her work rate. You've got people all over that field that do their core roles and do them well. So here's Torka trying to convert her own try. Huruku rather that is, and it's unconverted. So 18 points to 8. It's a 10-point game. So Manurewa need to score twice in these last a few minutes. Going to be a hard job for them to do that now particularly Tani Faro, got to give them credit for their defensive set before that try, just before Charlotte, mm -hmm. I mean, excellent play it was, it was creating that error there, and being able to capitalise on it, staying composed, a lot of teams when they do create errors when they get the ball back they make mistakes, but this team they're, they're playing like they're a lot older, a lot wiser than they actually are Oh. 
Let's see if they can finish off and seal the deal. This talker again. Terrific game as well. Berryman. And it comes to Clune. Kyara Berryman. Now to Hal. Here's Crawford back out there to finish the game now. I'd love to see her stats of the game. She has been phenomenal. She has, hasn't she? Here's Crosby. Oh, that one's fallen nicely for Honor Wilson. Good hands from <laughs> Leares Torka, and the gap's there. Oh, she goes. Oh, just lost forward there by Jasmine Hodaki. Knock on, on the ground. Oh, that was hard luck. It was tipped back initially by a Manurewa player. It was always going to be a tough gather by for Hodaki. What a pick up with that one hand, though, to be able to then step off that left foot and go for a run down the middle. Great skill set. Well, Laurelie Nathan's been around the game a long time. Uh, she's going to have to pull something miraculous out of her bag of tricks now. With less than six to play. You really have to think the Marlins are going to have to score from either this or their next set. And you just go for it in the last couple of minutes. Nothing's impossible, though. McGee Repia. Maybe Ellie can provide something special. And that Great is a player ball. going nowhere. Great right tackle. On Tanaloa. She went nowhere there. Nikirepia. Now it comes to Tara. She's only on the halfway line. Last play now in the set. For the Marlins. Go, go, go! It's Mikaela Alley. Good hands. Great catch there from Jasmine Horaki. Well, the all about completion now for Tony Faro Charlotte. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a tough ask to try and come back for, for Manurewa. They're definitely trying, though. They're putting everything they've got into this game. Tiny Faro just being so clinical in, in what they're doing. They've completed a lot of sets this game. They've, uh, they've attacked with such uh, speed and intent. They all want to score tries. I'm loving it. And the error rate is low too as Wilson. Wow, it's nicely gathered by Alexis Harpuku. That was a good read from her. And now Tangaloa. Again, good tackling. Like, uh, that's the other thing that's been really pleasing from a coaching perspective for Tani Faro. It hasn't mattered where Manurewa has been on the field. They're just tackling hard all game. Yeah, and they've actually been really good with the wrestle side of things, which is something our girls' game needs to improve on. You can see them trying to flip them. You can see them really working them and making sure that they're slowing the ruck down and dominating that space, even though they're not the biggest team. Might as well let that go into touch. No harm done there with uh, time. You might as well use the timers and the clock as your friend now. So nicely judged leave there by Tia Toka. Four tries to two it is for Tani Faro. And they're in no hurry. Robo. Hold, hold, no tackle. Henry shrugs out of a couple of tackles, pinches 10 metres. That was too easy. Berryman keeps it on the short side for Omaha. Nice and strongly late in the game. Oh, and that's hurt her. But you know what? At the In a few minutes' time, all she'll feel is the win, Charlotte, <laughs> rather than that hit. Here comes Howell. Berryman's got some space there. 
Berryman. Last play now for Tani Faro, but they're at the right end of the field. Even if they don't score, but they do want to score, of course. Wilson gives it to Crosby. And that's a drop ball, but that's okay. Because, again, they're in there. So touched on. Being deep in your opponent's half. Near the end of the game with a 10-point lead. It's no bad thing. Yes. I'm not mad at that. I would want to run the ball uh, with only two what? minutes Kevin, left. Run. Let yourself have another attacking opportunity. Um, and just give your outside backs a chance to have a bit of fun. Yeah, and Bacani, again, that just shows... That, uh, the frustration on Manurewa's play apart, and uh, Tani Faro have just ground them down, Charlotte. Yeah, I think that's wanting to try and create something because obviously the clock is not your friend, but when it's turning over the ball, you just need to go down. Come up, come up, come up. The pizzas are here. Wow, that is a <laughs> lot of pizza. Someone's very hungry, Charlotte. <laughs> These girls deserve it. They do, and Crawford, well, she should get a whole pizza herself. (laughs) I'm amazed she's got some fuel left in that tank. Last minute of the game, Berryman. Here's Ruruku. That's Henry. Now it goes to to Tiatoka on that right edge, that right wing side. Here goes Henry from dummy half. Oh, one will try to ice it. Would be just a ticket for Tani Faro. And Howell. Driven back nicely that time. Haven't seen that much or happen much in the game. Crosby. Nicely fielded by Amber Carney. In fact, that's not Amber Carney. But it's going to be a line dropout. What a finish there. Good save by Hapuku it was in the end. But the siren's about to sound. When you're ready, kicker. To seal Tani Faro's first ever win this season. You go for a drop goal? <laughs> <laughs> There's Crawford. I don't know. If you're Crawford, you go for a run. Oh, not only a run, maybe another try. It's still they there. Keep going. For Ruruku. Now it comes to Toka. And Toka. Oh. Just short. Well, again, a fantastic attitude by Tani Faro. Even though the game is safe, they're still wanting to win or score more points. And they've got their first win of 2023. And good on them. They deserved it with a very good second half performance. They led by four at half time and have won by 10. Really good effort from them, Tani Faro. Four tries to two. And they've won this game by 18 points to eight. And we'll be back to wrap it up right after this. Well, Wednesday night league, and as a win to Tani Faro over the Marlins, Manurewa, in this women's round 10 match, and uh, greatly deserved too for the team from the Northern Waikato, getting their first win of the season. They scored two tries in the second half, and uh, Totorewa got the first one, the number 14, simple dive over, but she really did 
come on and have some good impact off the bench, did the reserve dummy half. And she saw a little gap there and went for it. And that got the score out to 12 points to four. Converted by Ruruku, 14 to four. Manarewa we had a good period. And this try here scored by the former Kiwi Ferns international, Rax Anderson. She got it down on the second attempt. And that gave Manurewa some hope as it closed the gap to six points. But in the end, that only just galvanised the team in green further as they completed a beautiful play here from Otto Wilson and Leah Reese talker She got a try in the first half and that score in the second half. And uh, really good work by Wilson to give Torka some space and the powerful centre went over to score a double for the winners by complete the win by 18 points to 8. Right, let's get some after-match reaction. And just before we do, though, we'll get some stats for you. Tani Faro really dominated possession there and their completion rate well in excess of what Manurewa were able to achieve in this game. All right, let's get some after-match reaction now. Charlotte Scanlon is uh, there with some action or some players for us. Congratulations on your win. What was the focus leading up to this game? Uh, so, you know, I'm um, just coming up here and just getting through our sets, um, focusing on what's just played right in front of us just to get that done and mainly our defence too also, yeah. So, yeah. yeah great win for Tani Faro. <laughs> Thank you. And they'll move on and try and build on this performance and post more wins through the remainder of the season. Disappointing day for Manurewa as uh, we go back to Charlotte. It's been a tough season so far. What has been said around the club leading up into this game? Kota Mato, e hara i te eke ki ngā whiringa toa, engari hei whakapakiri tō mātou nei rōpū, he maha ngā kōtiro hau nō reira kota mātou, hei awhi a rātou kia ke panuku. <laughs> well, great win for Tani Faro. No drive back to Ham or Hamilton or the Northern Waikato tonight. Very happy indeed as they move on through the season. Well, thanks very much for joining us here on Wednesday Night League. We'll do it all again next Wednesday here from Tiara 2 Park South. And in the meantime, we'll catch you at the Warriors on Friday night for the double header, of course. New South Wales Cup team kicking off at uh, 5.30. And then we move into the Warriors South game at 8 o'clock. Looking forward to your coverage then. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah.